And so today we are taking a break from chasing stripers and tog and we are trying to get another fish to get us one step closer to our 100. So right now we're targeting spiny dogfish. This time of year when the water temp drops and the air temp drops, they seem to move, you know, closer into shore. So we're gonna throw out a, a little peanut bunker on a fish finder rig and see if we can't check this one off our list. Now we are using frozen uh, peanut bunker that I netted back in September. With these circle hooks, I do like to hook them on twice just because they do become pretty brittle. Now Grant, if you were to just catch them and freeze them, they're not gonna be that great of a bait. Um, these ones I mixed up with kosher salt and let it set for a little bit before I froze them. And I find that they stay on the hook really well. Um, even when they're thawed out and been sitting in the sun for a few hours, they're still much tougher, uh, tougher bait. And honestly, I do that pretty much with all my baits now that I freeze, because if you just freeze something straight up, even if it's fresh, it's, it's usually a lot softer when it uh, falls out if you don't add some type of like salt to it. All right, there's our first fish of the day. Not really sure what, but something just bumped it. I'm hoping, I'm probably the only crazy person in the world that wants to hope that it's a spiny dogfish. But this time of year, man, there could be skates, stripers, whole multitude of other species that could be. Well, I think we got him. Oh, no. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Looks like a dogfish. I'm not sure what type. Ah, oh, here we go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, I just lost him right there. Oh, my Lord. That was a spiny dog, and I freaking missed him. Well, that sucked. Technically, I can't count that fish because we did not land it. Lost him on the rock. Some dilly dallying. But that's a good sign. Last cast, I probably waited maybe two minutes before I had that hit. So they're here, it's just a matter of landing one on these rocks, man. I'll tell you what, if you've ever never fished jetties like this before, you know, walking this far out can be real sketchy because all this seaweed and grass that grows on these rocks is like super slick. And that's not even the worst of it. it like the moss looking, like, oh, something just hit as we're talking. Uh, that moss colored stuff, man, is the worst. I mean, you step on that without corkers or anything, but like, jetty shoes. Gone for a run. There we go. Gotta tighten that drag a tap bit. That's gotta be another dogfish. Cause it wasn't like a, a striper when they pick up the, you know, the bait like that. It's usually they grab it and go. That was like tap, 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 which tells me it's either a dogfish or a skate. It looks like a dogfish from here. Oh yeah. Little dog. All right, let's see if we can land this one <clears throat> without losing them. There we go. Got them. That, we are one step closer to 100 now. Now, these guys are an absolute nightmare to deal with if you've never dealt with them before. 
and I'll show you exactly why. All right, so that right there, that little spine on the back of its tail, the spine on its dorsal fin, man, those things, if they get you, man, it hurts like you couldn't believe. And not to mention, they do have small teeth, nothing crazy, but, um, you know, they're an underrated species. In the cold winter months when everything else is gone, I don't mind coming out here and catching them. All right, man, we're gonna let this, oh, specimen go. I'm gonna have to put my bag up back a little bit. All right, man, got a fresh bunker on. I'm just gonna pitch it back out. Where I'm casting uh, is right off the point of this jetty. Now, these fish kind of are all scattered along the beach, but why I'm keying in on that exact spot is the way the current's moving, these rocks act as a current break on you know one side of the jetty. And I find that you do find a lot of predatory fish using that current break to A, you know, look for bait that's using the current break to feed on also keep you know condensing their energy use to see fish using it Oop. there we go it took a minute to get adjusted to these circle hooks but it's just one of those things like you just gotta think through before you do it I believe it's another spiny dog they sure are uh, not a bad fish from a fighting perspective. You know what I mean? Like they'll they'll make some runs. Grant, we're fishing a lot heavier tackle than what we normally would um, in our kayak, but that's because we need just enough rod to get our bait out where it needs to be. Put this in the rod holder. Ooh. And see, they always try that, man, that they try and spine you. Good old spiny dogfish tail whip. That's why I always try and grab them underneath the chin. That's a pretty hard, you know, area for them to swing and get. I'll be honest with you, man. A lot of people give these species a hard time, but... If I'm being honest with you, in the middle of winter down our way, you know, you're not allowed to target strike bass because they close, the, you know, January 1st. And, you know, from a active species standpoint, most of the species I target in the wintertime are freshwater, like cold water species. You know, unfortunately, in New Jersey in the wintertime from land, there's not many uh, saltwater species you could really target and you know this is in my eyes kind of better than catching or something else like that especially if you get a nice day that's not like super uh, wavy not a ton of current there we go look at that oh. something just grabbed it and dropped it There it is again. There we go. Got him that time. Whew. Another dog. I'll tell you what, man. They do give you a little bit of a fight. Even with, you know, a non-really ideal rig to get a good fight with. This guy might have swallowed the hook. You're gonna have to cut the line, tie a new hook on. I don't want to kill him for no reason. All right, man, oh, off you go.
biggest one we've hooked all day. Spicy, look at him. That's actually not a bad sized one. I thought for sure that might have been a small striper. Because he, unlike the other ones, he ran directly towards the bottom and along the jetty where the other ones ran directly to the surface. That's not a bad one, though. Oh. There we go. like the uh, smooth dogfish the smooth dogfish I feel like will try and roll in circles which they're not as fun to catch these guys at least will make a, a solid run or two before they start trying to you know break you off in the rocks I might have to retie that that looks pretty cheap from the rocks Oh man, this guy, he's got some size to him. Maybe we'll do a, one time we'll do a catching cook. Try one of these guys out. I've never really heard anything great about them, but, you know, I never heard anything good about oyster toadfish. And they actually turned out to be pretty good eating. There we go. Ooh, let's get you back. There he goes. 